My dear sweet child, that's what I do. It's what I live for. To help unfortunate merfolk like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They were kidding when they called me well a witch. But you find in nowadays I've mended all my ways. Repented from the light and made the switch. Yes. And I fortunately know a little magic. It's a talent that I always have possessed. And he let me please don't laugh. I used it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed. Pathetic. Poor unfortunate souls in pain, in need. This one longing to be sinner, that one wants to get the girl, and do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor unfortunate souls, so sad, so true. They come flocking to my court and cry, Spells us the please, and I help them? Yes, I do. But I was happy once or twice, so I couldn't pay the price. And I'm afraid I had to wake up and cross the cross. But I've had the off to play, but the life been not saved. To those poor unfortunate souls. Now, here's the deal. I will make you a potion that will turn you into a human for three days. You got that? Three days. Now listen, this is important. Before the sun sets on the third day, you got to get dear old Princey to fall in love with you. That is, he's got to kiss you. Not just any kiss. The kiss of true love. If he does kiss you before the sun sets on the third day, you will remain human permanently. But if he doesn't, you turn back into a mermaid and you belong to me. Oh, are you? <laughs> Have we got a deal? If I become human, I'll never be with my father or sisters again. That's right. But you'll have your man. <laughs> Life's full of tough choices, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and there is one more thing. We haven't discussed the subject of payment. You can't get something for nothing, you know. But I don't have- I'm not asking much. Just a token, really a trifle. You'll never even miss it. What I want from you is... Your voice. My voice? You've got it, sweet cakes. No more talking, singing, zip. But without my voice, how can I- You have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the importance of my body language. Ha! <laughs> the men out there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is a boy. Yes, a lad is much preferred for the needs not to say a word. And after all, they all decide or proud or fall. Come on! They're not on that request for conversation. Two gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't just shoot and fall. But the lady who's withdrawn. Is she or hold her tongue who gets her man? Come on, you part of one and a soul. Go ahead. Make your choice. I'm a very busy woman, and I haven't got a day. It won't cost much. Just your voice! No part of what it has all. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross the bridge, but would you got to pay the toll? Take a go, but take a breath, and go ahead and sign the scroll. That's a jetson, now I've got a boy. The buzzer's on a roll. This poor, poor, poor. Aruga, Savuga, come wind of the Caspian Sea! Rangers, Poseidus, Maxwell, and Jaitis, La Voce to me! Now, sing! Ha 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 ha!